what is up YouTube welcome back to the channel welcome to vlog number three yes yesterday we were in uh, where were we yesterday in Dortmund and today we play a special course uh, today we are in Bremen we play the highest rated disc golf course in Germany so stay tuned <laughs> And here we are, Weserufer Disc Golf Park, 18 holes with some on bees, with the Weser, it's a river over there. We are here right now, here you also have a warm-up basket, that's a plus. The Drehmoment Disco of Bremen e.V. is the home team. Here we have T1, straight shot with a bit of low ceiling. It is a par 3, 66 meters, no OPs and no Mandos. Have fun! Right between the gap. Right behind the gap. <laughs> yeah. Now I can show you the gap I took. Right up there. In between. But now I think it's parked. Svenja has a little work to do. Also park. Oh wow, they have also marked the circles. So circle one. First. Yeah. So yeah, um, we are on hole number five. And hole number five is a almost an almost 200 meter par four. It starts right over there on top of this little hill, all the way through this, and there you see the basket. Par four, yeah, it's really tricky. My second drive is somewhere around here. First we did the backhand, then a sidearm. The sidearm got way more distance. Well, some pretty nice holes here. And also a pretty nice view. We are at hole number seven. Hole seven is a par three, 72 meters. And a look at this. Well, the basket is right there on the left side. It is a fun hole, but it is tricky because this fairway, it is tight. So we are on the hole number 10 and, uh, huh? Nine. Okay, sorry, hole number nine. And on hole number nine, there is no T sign. We didn't found the T sign. So I think a T sign is missing. 
Um, but anyway, on U-Disc the layout says that you have to pass on the right of this tower and there you see the basket. We have a slight headwind. I passed it. So, Kontrelle. Genau so. Good. And I mean, a look at this view. You have a pretty open space and many some baskets are right in these trees over the left and behind there you'll see uh, is the other fairway where I showed you the, the video before over there you have a basket behind that down there you have a basket then you can see some houses pretty high buildings so it looks like a pretty place to live <coughs> And you have some holes are really open with uh, with a uh, with a nice wind, and again you have everywhere you have really nice tees. You have tee signs everywhere. You have normally you have yeah you have also here you have the C one is marked. And you can see my my drive landed right inside the C1. Those are the pots you have to make. Uh, this is hole number 11, because also on 11 is a T sign missing. We are not expecting this on the most rated, on the highest rated course in Germany. Eh, eh. Anyway, uh, for the locals, this looks like the Ace Run hole. Uh, I don't know how many meters, I think something around 70. And now, let's see. So I think I will go with this sky god. Decent. So, yeah, Svenja landed around circle one and a half, maybe even circle two. Ooh, nice run. So, and I am again in circle one, but yeah, eight meters, not my distance. Well, a reminder to myself, pot more. We are at hole 15, the T is somewhere over there, it's just uh, 64 meters, but um, as you can see, I am parked. So in there is over there, right by the path, we have another sidearm. And look 
at this view. Huh? Looking awesome. There's no boat at the moment. But down there I think is the, the harbor. Because we can always hear some container movements down there. And uh, yeah, quite a view. Well, we are done. Bremen, it was fun. Disc golf park Weser Ufer. Um, here you see the basket of the A hole 18. I finished the course with minus one, Svenja with plus 16, and what she thinks about the course. It was very good to practice, was a good one. So, see you in the next one.